and welcome. This is Melissa Armel with the Stock Swish and reviewing the market. So the market sold off this morning and at the time it happened, I was trading and I saw it happen live, I said something happened. I couldn't find anything, couldn't find anything, couldn't find anything. And very often when something happens in the universe, um, the market reacts immediately and it takes a while for the news to hit and for us to find out why something occurs. Now, there's not always a reason something occurs, but the sell-off was so big, so fast, so quick. I'm gonna show it to you here in a minute that I knew that I knew it was news. I knew it had to do something, and it did. So there's a NATO meeting going on right now. Hold on. Here it was, it was this morning. Zoop. So the QQQs were up here around 502 fell all the way down, basically crashed, fell $5 in like 20 minutes. That's, that's a massive sell-off and I knew something happened. So again, the meeting's going on. We're talking about including Ukraine in NATO, which was always something that the market was gonna react negative to because of what's been going on with the conflict with Ukraine and Russia. And now they're talking about more military force NATO against Russia and now China's made a statement. So there's a possibility the market could be down tomorrow and it could be down a lot. I don't know. The one caveat is that we have data out at 8.30. I don't know what that's gonna say. And then we have bank earnings tomorrow morning before the open. So if the news comes out overnight, something that's so horrible, it'll crash the market tomorrow and it won't even matter if the banks are up on the earnings or if the data is positive. Like we could gap down and rally, that's one scenario. We could gap down and fall. How will I know what to do if we gap down? Well, I have to rate the gap. So I'm not gonna know A, what, where we're gonna gap tomorrow, or B, what the gap rating will be until I rate it and see it. So I have to wait till tomorrow to do all of that. I do the pre-market work. That's the beauty of what I do. It's making decisions ahead of time and then trading live. What if we're up? What if we just close here and nothing new comes out between overnight? It's all gonna be about the bank earnings. Again, the banks could still be down, banks could be up. Market's gonna be up tomorrow if the banks are up and no more international news hits the fan. Uh, and again, depending on what the data is, but it's really the bank earnings that are gonna drive the market tomorrow the next, uh, well, it's less than 24 hours. It's just the overnight here, what happens? It's almost four o'clock, between four o'clock and 9.30 tomorrow morning if there's any more international news, so couple minutes left here in the close today we're closing super duper super duper super duper week in this market uh let's just look at the spy quick and again financials are with the spy we're closing extremely weak here too oops no Put this guy over yeah we're weaker in the queues we're definitely weaker in the queues. This SPY is one to wait for the bank earnings. We could be up tomorrow. They could make brand new highs tomorrow in the SPY. The JPM is good. Gaps up tomorrow. And if it's a good bullish gap to go long, which again, I have to rate it. I'll rate it if it's a bullish gap too. And the market could make new highs and everything could lift. I mean, you just, you just gotta wait. But I'm just discussing here what happened today, going back to the queues major sell-off today in the market considering how strong we've been big fat monster 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 red bar and for those of you that don't know what i do i mainly focus on shorting i've been shorting for a living ever since i figured out my 26 point golden gap rating system in every single year it's been a bullish market i think i think 20 the covid year the covid year when the market sold off we had a period there it didn't last long and then it lifted so i mean the market's bullish all the time and i still make money shorting Today's a great example. Could have shorted the market today and made money, and we're still in an uptrend. So you can short stocks in any placement if it has a good gap. Anyways, that is the story. So very excited about earnings season tomorrow. Very excited about the sell-off here in the market, and very excited to short for the next couple of weeks and couple of months to see where we go. Exciting year and a lot going on. If you'd like to learn my trading method, it is called The Golden Gap. Email me at Melissa at stockswish.com. The class for July is coming up this weekend, July 13th and 14th. The deadline to sign up is tomorrow. Have a great night.